go through the final exercise 7, uh, restoring a plane, um, as part of the Sterian exercise for structural geology as we didn't get time to finish this in class. So the point of this exercise is to use the steering net as a tool to restore um, beds that have been tilted in order to understand something about the original information before the rocks were deformed. So if we have a plane that has been tilted um, and we have some marks on that plane, basically if we untilt it, what orientation are the marks in? So the first part of this exercise is looking at some sedimentary beds that have um, some cross bedding which shows a paleo current within them. So, and the point is that we're going to restore those beds back to horizontal and look for the original paleo current. So if I just show you with my sieve quickly, um, if we talked about this in class, but just to remind you, that if we're going to plot a plane, it's going to plot as a line or a great circle on our sieve. Um, and the pole to that plane is at 90 degrees. And if we have a vertical plane, then the pole, which is represented by a, sort of the end of my pen, will be at the edge of the stereo net. Whereas if we have a horizontal plane like this, then our pole is going to be in the middle. Um, and this is really important when we're thinking about um, plotting and um, restoring our data because basically we want to move the poles so they are back to the middle of the stereo net because if the pole is vertical then the plane will be horizontal because they are at 90 degrees to each other. So what you're told to do in the exercise, so I'll first of all get my piece of tracing paper put that on the stereo net. I'm going to mark north, south, east and west, my stereo net. And then the first thing to do is plot the pole to the plane of the sandstone bed. So we do this exactly the same as when we're plotting a plane. So the bed is 20 degrees and it's dipping 80 to the west. So we mark on 0, 020. I'm going to rotate that to north. Then we're going to do 80 west. So the west side of my tracing paper is over here. So I would count in to 80, which is here. And then because if we're going to draw the bedding as a great circle, we draw the line here. But as we're going to do a pole, we're going to count 90 beyond that. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I'm going to put a cross there and I'm going to call that um, PSS for the bed. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the um, cross beds. So they are 175. So 175 is down here. 175. I'm going to rotate that to south. Um, again, these are dipping west. They're dipping 70 west. So that would be this point or this plane. And then that means that the pole is going to be plotted over here. So I'm going to mark that P, X, B. So now what we're going to do, that, so that is the position of these beds. So they're dipping basically, um, they're dipping down and we want to restore them from being, um, the, we want to restore the poles from pointing basically out this way to being back to the middle of the um, middle of the stereo net because if the pole is vertical then the plane is going to be horizontal which is what we want whereas at the moment our pole is leaning over here so our plane is tilted so in order to do that what we're going to do is rotate this until our bedding lies on the east-west line and then we're going to move the bedding so this pole as I said is going 
towards the centre because if the pole is vertical then the plane is going to be horizontal and that is moved it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 degrees. So as our bed is being restored back to horizontal, our cross bedding, which is also on our bed, is going to be restored. So we're going to move the cross bedding by exactly the same amount. So that would be, and we're going to move it along the small circle, so the lines which are going around the stereo net. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 degrees. So I'll just draw an arrow along there for you to see. And that is going to be the new point of our PXB restored. So I'll put that zero. And this is our PSS zero is right in the middle of the stereo net. Okay, so the final thing you're asked to do in this part of the exercise is um, to work out the paleo current of these cross beds because now they're horizontal we can work out the paleo current um, accurately whereas before when they were tilted it wasn't going to give us any information about the original bedding surface so what we're going to do is rotate the cross bed so they're on the east west line here and then that is the pole to the cross beds so we're now going to draw the plane which represents this cross bedding at its horizontal state. So to do that we're going to go 90 degrees back, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 to here and then I'm going to draw the great circle here that represents the restored cross bedding. Okay. So you can see this is basically striking east-west and it is dipping down to the south. So our cross bedding is now dipping to the south, which means that if we want to find out the paleo current of this, if we look, maybe it's better so if I show you on the east-west line, so that was our pole, this is our plane, and then this is the direction and it's actually the same um, 175 as the pole, so it's sort of 90 degrees to what the original cross bedding was. So the paleo current um, is is towards 175 degrees or towards the south.